Have you ever wondered if any aircraft could remain in service for 100 years? It sounds almost impossible since the aviation world is always in motion, technologies evolve, new combat doctrines emerge, and every design eventually becomes obsolete. And yet the U.S. Air Force has shocked the entire world by pushing forward a bold upgrade program for the B-52 Stratofortress, the 70-year-old infamous flying bomb truck, with the ambition of extending its operational life to a full century. Why does the Air Force want to preserve such an aging icon? What upgrades are planned? And how might they unsettle rival powers? Let's find out. To understand the remarkable longevity of the B-52, we need to look back to the years following World War II. After the global conflict ended, the U.S. Air Force, as one of the principal branches of America's defense apparatus, sought to solidify the nation's emerging global dominance, especially in response to the growing threat from the Soviet Union. They needed a strategic bomber that could not only carry a massive payload, but also achieve an extremely long range. The goal was to conduct strike missions without relying on advanced or intermediate bases controlled by allied nations. This aircraft had to be capable of projecting American deterrence from U.S. soil to virtually anywhere in the world. Therefore, on June 1946, the U.S. Air Force issued a set of technical requirements and Boeing's design known as Model 462 was declared the winner. Model 462 was a straight-wing aircraft powered by six Wright R3350 turboprop engines offering a projected combat radius of around 2,700 nautical miles. However, the story of this future legend nearly ended right then and there. The U.S. Air Force quickly realized that this model was too large and still fell short on range. Although Boeing scaled it down to four engines, it wasn't enough. Then tensions rose with the Dash 6, a nuclear bomber, and the Dash 7, a versatile four-ton payload aircraft. The Air Force liked the Dash 7's flexibility, yet its range disappointed nearly canceling the B-52 project on December 1947. Finally, after more refinements, Boeing unveiled the Model 464-67 in February 19th, 51 securing a 13 aircraft contract as the B-52A. Although the B-52A was the first variant to be produced used only for testing the first combat-capable version, was the B-52B, which entered service at Castle Air Force Base in California on June 19, 1955. In total, 744 aircraft across eight variants from A to H were produced between 1954 and 1962, with each successive version becoming more capable than the last, forming one of the most formidable bomber fleets in the world. After its debut, the B-52 Stratofortress quickly demonstrated its superior performance. It set world speed records over distances of 5,000 and 10,000 kilometers on September 19, 58. It then continued to set and break records for the longest unrefueled flights from 1960 to 1962. However, the greatest advantage of this bomber did not lie in its speed or endurance, but in its unmatched ability to deliver overwhelming deterrence during the height of the Cold War. When Soviet surface-to-air missiles began to emerge, they underscored the need for a fleet of long-range heavy bombers capable of carrying devastating nuclear warheads. At the time, strategic doctrine required these aircraft to fly at low altitudes to avoid detection by Soviet radar and missile systems. The Stratofortress's flexibility, its ability to operate at both high and low altitudes and adapt to various tactical roles was exactly what the U.S. Air Force needed. During Operation Chrome Dome from 1960 to 1968, nuclear-armed B-52 bombers were kept on continuous airborne alert flying near the northern borders of the Soviet Union with a frequency of up to 12 flights per day from multiple bases. The aircraft served as the vigilant guardian of America's nuclear deterrence strategy. Notably, the aircraft's career didn't end with the Cold War. This aircraft continued to leave a profound and sometimes controversial mark on numerous subsequent U.S. Air Force military campaigns. It was used extensively in bombing operations during the Vietnam War, where the B-52 both demonstrated its devastating destructive power and suffered some of the heaviest losses in its operational history. Later, it once again became a core strike force in the Gulf War and continued to participate in air campaigns against Iran, the Taliban, and ISIS throughout the 21st century. What has allowed the heavy bomber to maintain its strategic role over so many decades is its constant evolution. Its operational range and fuel capacity have been repeatedly improved. Its avionics have been modernized across multiple generations. Most recently, digital technologies such as the Connect system, a network-based combat communication platform, have enabled it to fully integrate into modern warfare environments where rapid information processing is essential for survival. So when looking at a service history spanning more than seven decades, why does the U.S. Air Force continue investing billions of dollars to upgrade many times an airframe designed in the 1950s instead of developing an entirely new bomber? 
The answer lies in the unique combination the B-52 offers exceptional flexibility, enormous payload capacity, and almost unlimited operational range and operating costs that after upgrades are far lower than building a brand new bomber fleet. More significantly, the Stratofortress's longevity speaks not only to the durability of its engineering design, but also to its remarkable adaptability turning it into a weapons platform capable of surviving for a full century a constant threat to any adversary. And now new upgrades are transforming what once seemed like a vintage aircraft into a weapon of the future. Let's continue exploring those changes. Before we continue, please take a second to like and share the video. It's the best way to help us keep bringing you these in-depth analyses. Today only about 76 B-52 remain in active service, all of them the B-52H variant. It's hard to believe, but over the past decade their mission ready rate has fallen below 60%. Yet the US Air Force remains determined to keep this fleet because there are virtually no alternatives capable of fulfilling its unique strategic role. That's why the US has decided to invest $48.6 billion to comprehensively overhaul the fleet, ensuring the aircraft remains operational at least until 2060. After these upgrades, the aircraft will be renamed the B-52J, a symbol that is at once both historic and cutting edge. At the heart of the Stratofortress's transformation is its engines. The original Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, revolutionary and powerful in the 1960s, are now fuel-hungry, costly to maintain, and inadequate for modern requirements. Boeing selected the Rolls-Royce F-130 as a replacement, allocating $2.6 billion for development under the Commercial Engine Replacement Program. The F-130 promises to be quieter, more reliable, more fuel efficient, and crucially, it resolves the issue of obsolete spare parts. Related systems from engine mounts to NEL and the electrical power system will also be fully upgraded, but the B-52J upgrade doesn't stop at the engines. The aircraft will also feature state-of-the-art active electronically scanned array radar, a fully digital cockpit advanced avionics systems and next-generation long-range weapons including hypersonic missiles. Its combat communications are being modernized to meet the demands of modern networked warfare, where the speed of information processing is critical. Ground and flight tests are scheduled to begin by the end of 2028 with engine upgrades continuing throughout the 2030s. The total cost of the SER program is estimated at $11 to $15 billion. These improvements don't just enhance maximum speed cruise speed and combat range. More importantly, they extend the aircraft's lifespan ensure it can be further upgraded in the future, and keep the B-52J as a long-term strategic cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force. Don't forget the B-52H is already a true beast. Introduced in 1962, it boasts a 55-meter wingspan, 48-meter length, 12-meter height, a maximum takeoff weight of over 220 tons, and 48,000 gallons of fuel capacity. With eight TF-33 engines, it reaches a top speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour, a cruise speed of Mach 0.9, and a combat range of 14,000 kilometers without refueling. These staggering figures explain why the bomber remains an icon of power and why the U.S. continues to transform this classic aircraft into a weapon of the future. At the heart of its legendary reputation is massive firepower. The B-52H, often called the Flying Bomb Vault, can carry 27 to 33 tons of weapons distributed between its internal bomb bays and underwing pylons. This enormous payload allows it to conduct massive carpet bombing operations or deliver a large number of precision-guided munitions in a single sortie. Yet it's not just the quantity that makes it formidable, it's the versatility. The B-52H can rapidly switch between conventional missions and nuclear deterrence roles, adapting to the needs of modern warfare. In conventional operations, it can deploy everything from traditional freefall bombs like Mk-82, Mk-83, and Mk-84 to sophisticated precision-guided bombs such as JDAM GBU-31, GBU-38. For long-range strikes, it can carry AGM-158, JAS SM cruise missiles capable of stealthily hitting heavily defended targets far from enemy air defenses. It can even lay naval mines like Quick Strike for strategic maritime operations. In addition, on the nuclear side, this bomber remains a cornerstone of the U.S. nuclear triad carrying AGM 86B ALCM and being upgraded to integrate the AGM 181A LRSO, a next generation nuclear standoff missile. This ensures the Stratofortress maintains its strategic deterrence role for decades to come. Beyond today's missions, this bomber is also a platform for future weapons, including hypersonic systems like ARRW air-launched rapid response weapon. 
Its size, payload capacity, and high altitude capabilities make it ideal for testing and launching next-generation arms, keeping it relevant well into the 21st century. Therefore, the B-52H Stratofortress is far from an outdated relic. Its immense and versatile payload, combined with its irreplaceable role in nuclear deterrence, cements its status as the flying bomb vault upgraded and poised to dominate the skies for up to 100 years of service. However, upgrading this B-52 is more than maintaining a symbol of power. It's a colossal technical challenge. After decades of service, these aircraft have begun showing random system faults that can delay missions or even become dangerous. While these issues are mostly due to the age of the planes, they serve as a stark reminder any modernization effort risks being wasted if built on a deteriorating airframe. With a wingspan of 56 meters, Stratofortress is often stored outdoors exposed to the elements. Over time, this has corroded critical components, many of which are now increasingly rare as original manufacturers have closed or shifted industries. If the modernization program encounters unexpected complexities, not only could progress be delayed, but the U.S. Air Force might be forced to extend the operational life of B-1 or B-2 beyond planned retirement to maintain a functional bomber fleet. Besides in the quest to extend the B-52 Stratofortress's life to 100 years, engineers face a daunting challenge integrating 21st century technology into an airframe designed in the 1950s. The biggest hurdle lies in digital mechanical compatibility. The old TF-33 engines are mechanically controlled with cables, pushrods, and classic hydraulic systems, while the F-130 engines are fully digital controlled through FADEC. To teach a 70-year-old aircraft to communicate flawlessly with a brand new digital brain, this is actually a challenge. Engineers must design complex interfaces and converters to ensure that all old mechanical flight commands from the cockpit like throttle movements translate accurately and instantaneously into digital signals for the new engines. Any delay or error in this translation could cause serious malfunctions or danger in flight. Replacing the engines also profoundly affects weight distribution balance and aerodynamics. While the F-130 engines are more efficient, their different structure changes how weight is distributed across the wings. This demands extensive aerodynamic and structural testing adjustments to flight control systems and even additional counterweights to ensure the aircraft remains stable and safe under all conditions. Beyond these technical challenges, the B-52 upgrade program faces classic project management risks, cost overruns, schedule delays, and unexpected issues stemming from an airframe that has served for decades. Any unforeseen complication can increase costs or halt progress. In short, the B-52 modernization is a high-stakes marathon where success depends on managing budget schedules and the integration of technologies separated by half a century. It's a testament that modernization isn't just about engineering, it's an art of balancing the past and the future where every decision impacts the strategic power of the U.S. Air Force.